Karen from ediblewildfood.com here on a wonderful Saturday afternoon. It's been raining a bit. The sun's been trying to come out and I thought this is a perfect location to start a video about dock identification. I get a lot of requests from people asking, is burdock in the dock family? And no, it's not. It's in the Arctium family. And how do we tell the difference? Well, first of all, yes, the main rib running up the center of the leaf is reddish purplish, which can be the same for bitter dock. And that's where some confusion comes in. So burdock, the leaves are very thick, very tough actually. The, both the upper and lower surface have fine hairs. And the bitter dock, it's a, the leaf is also thick, but it's not as tough. And I don't detect any hairs on it at all. If there are any, it's extremely minute. There seems to be plenty of it in this location, along with some of my other favorites. Stinging nettle, more bitter dock. And there are two other types of docks that I want to show you. They are not in this location. One is curly dock or yellow dock, as is referred to. And the other plant is bloody dock, which I'm actually growing in my back garden. But again, the common burdock, Arctium family, is not the same as bitter dock. So let's go check out a location where we can find some curly dock so you can see the difference. I'm out on an early morning walk, so I thought, why not take advantage of this situation to show you yellow dock or curly dock. And you can tell because the leaf margins are wavy and they're, they grow from a central point to form a basal formation. Now, Chance is patiently waiting and you can see where there's one there is often more. And that is your curly dock or yellow dock. Before I show you the bloody dock or the red vein dock, I just wanted to show you this curly dock. Check out the size of it. Absolutely massive. A lot of food to be had on that one. So anyways, this is my transplanted garden that if you've been watching my videos, these are some of my transplants. And over here is where I'm growing the bloody dock or red vein dock. And as you can see, there's some new growth right there. Now this plant, like the others that I've shown you in this video, are all native to Europe or Asia. These are all in the Polygonacea family and worldwide there's actually 200 species all of which are annuals, perennials or biennials and all the docs I've shown you in this video they're all perennials. Interestingly Merritt I think his last name was Ferdinand he was a Harvard professor back in the early 1900s, and he said that all 17 native rumex species are edible. How he figured that out, I don't know, but it's kind of interesting. And maybe the same can be said for all the other rumexes around the world. But in any case, this is the red veined or bloody dock. It is too edible. It is found in the wild, but as you can see, I'm growing it right here in my garden. I'm going to finish off the video right here so you can see all these leaves side by side to help you 
better identify each and every one of these. So again, here we have burdock, bitter dock, bloody dock, and finally, yellow dock or curly dock. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching right to the end of this video. And if you're new to my channel, if you can do me the kindness and consider subscribing. And to all my subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate your support. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share in your social media.